Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today, I'll be doing a very anticipated video, at least for me. I'll be doing a review on all three of Mater's cousins from the Storytellers Collection. Um, it took me a year to get them all, but uh, here they all are, all three of them. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing a review on all of them. I will be taking them out of the package. Um, I know they're kind of rare, but uh, that's what I do. I buy cards to take them out of the package. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at all three of them in the package first. Uh, here you have Cousin Cletus, number six, the green one. Kind of looks like Christmas, uh, gives off Christmassy vibes, that's for sure. Um, the Storyteller's uh, art, uh, kind of interesting how his eyes right there, those are, I don't know why those are there, I'm not, you know, those are part of the card art, I'm not sure why they're there, but uh, the Storyteller's card art, you can definitely tell this is like drawn in, uh, definitely this is all, you know, illustrated and uh, animated. Storyteller's collection there, I like the logo there world of cars so this because this was 2009 2008 um over the copyright is um i can't I, I don't see a copyright date on here but um storytellers were like 2008 2009 2010 uh so yeah 2008 right there on the bottom so yeah 2009 release so uh yeah that's when they had they were had the world of cars and whatnot so open up a world of action and adventure with the disney car story with a disney storytellers collection of books and toys disney pixar's world of cards deluxe storybook features five exciting stories with spectacular full color illustrations learn what life in, uh, on the road was like for lake mcqueen mater and the other towns for before they made, met in radiator springs um so I guess they had Disney storytellers for a bunch of other movies as well. I'm not sure. I've only ever heard of the uh, Cars one. So obviously I've banged up there from Doc Hudson. And, uh, now, and now a word from our sponsor from Lake McQueen. Hoodwinked. Obviously these are from the Hoodwinked uh, series. Showstopper, which also had some very, very cool cars in Chow America. Um, definitely Hoodwinked and Showstopper had the two best cars or that were the two uh, stories that had the best releases. Obviously, Bubba and the Mater's Cousins from Ho Hoodwinked and the uh, show, uh, Showgirls from Showstopper. Um, although, like, Sponsorless McQueen was pretty cool from that one as well. So, if we take a look inside of these, they'll, they're going to be all the same, I believe. But Hoodwinked, you can see right there, Mater wasn't always a rusty old tow truck. Find out why he started driving backwards and how he lost his hood while having a truckload of fun. Um, you can see some design there on the back. That's pretty cool. And uh, there you can see the other cars. Uh, not all of these are from the uh, same book. I see Laverne, Sheely, and Rhonda here are from the uh, Showstoppers series. Uh, Smell Swell, Lake McQueen, and Sponsorless Lake McQueen, like I said, are from the uh, sponsor one. Obviously, there's the three cousins, Judd, Bufford, and Cletus. Brand New Mater is also from the Hoodwind series. And Red, I think Red may have also been from the uh, Hood Hoodwind series, actually. Um, so yeah, they kind of kind of came like little books like this. Uh, pretty cool. So there's Cletus. Uh, here's Cousin Judd. Uh, now the pat now the card art is different on all of them, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can see him there. Look at the back of the package here. Same description. And I think he would have the same cars on the uh, back. Yeah. There's Cousin Judd, and let's take a look at Cousin Bufford now. He's got this, like, cardboard in here because the seller shipped it like that. And, uh, I just kind of kept it like that while I was waiting to open him up. Um, he was the one, he's the one I've had the longest. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I've just kind of kept him like that, uh, waiting for, to open him up. Taking it out a couple of times to look at it, but, uh, yeah, there you can see same as the other one. So, uh, let's start in numerical order, I guess. Let's start with Cousin Judd here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just open him up, I guess. Kind of like a normal opening. That could have gone smoother. Um, let's see. That definitely could have gone way smoother. Hmm. Can't. Might have to cut the video actually because, uh, oh, there we go. As I hit the uh, camera, let's get him out of the package here. 
So here is Cousin Judd. Uh, looks like it comes with this like road piece thing. Um, I don't know, whatever, just put that to the side. But here he is, Cousin Judd, out of the package. And uh, yeah, he looks very, very nice. He's got like a matte finish, kind of like a matte finish. Um, yeah. Uh, I really like the tan color. The tan color is pretty cool on him. Um, the purple racing stripes, purple and tan, a weird color combo, but I think it works just fine on uh, Judd here. So you can see, almost looks like a demo derby car, right? With the uh, detail. These are the uh, demo derby cars before the demo derby cars. You've got the detail, the dirt on the bottom here. Kind of got like a matte paint job like the demo derby cars do. Although it's a little more, it's not quite matte matte. It's, a little, it's flat, but it's not quite flat, if that makes any sense. Um... And you've got, like, poorly drawn stripes that are not uh, symmetrical at all. Poorly drawn detail. Um, with uh, poorly drawn numbers, although those numbers look actually pretty decently drawn. But, um, yeah, and it's got he's got dents all over as well. So he's got a little uh, dent right there with some detail on the hood there. That looks very, very nice. Obviously, buck teeth, just like Mater, number five on the headlights. There's the grill. Here is uh, his splitter down here, also kind of bent. On the side there, you can see his rims, kind of rusty and dirty there. Number five on the side. Uh, obviously, the dirt detailing on the bottom here. You've got like a window net, which is pretty cool, but you've got one on both sides. So that's kind of interesting. He's kind of like a small sedan. Like It, it feels like they should be a little longer in the back, but um, I don't know. Uh, they're all the same model, obviously. Uh, yeah, it feels like he should be a little longer in the back. I'm not sure, though. See, dirt in the back here. Uh, we go towards the back here. You've got some dirt detail there. Got the uh, back bumper there. And obviously, his racing stripes come all the way down to the trunk. And there you can see his window net right there. And there you can just kind of, in the light, see some of the detail. Some of the uh, bumps and stents on Cousin Judd here, and there you can see his eyes. So let's set him on the turntable because I don't trust myself to not drop him while having him up in the air like that. So let's set him down on the turntable. Move back a little here. Um, Yeah, I I mean, I can't say, I don't think Cousin Judd's my favorite, but uh, he's very nice. That's for sure. He's got kind of like this thing, like it kind of pops out and pops back in on the sides. Um, so yeah, let's give Cousin Judd here a ride on the turntable. And, uh, as I show you all these, kind of keep a lookout on the racing stripes. Um, because I think they're different, um, all three of them. But, uh, yeah, there's Cousin Judd. Uh, let's go to the next one, which would be Cousin, Cousin Cletus here. The green one. Although I said keep an eye on the racing stripes, and his racing stripes look to be... Exactly the same as Judd's, just a different color. So let's see. Hopefully his opening comes up, comes a little smoother. There we go. And Judd's. I'm going to actually keep these packages because why not? This is likely the only uh, storytellers stuff I'll unbox on this channel. Unless I somehow get Laverne and uh, the Showstoppers. For a decent price. Now, this is the same road as this one. I mean, I guess you could, like, lay it out, and it, it would look okay. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, here is Cousin Cletus. Um, obviously, green and red. Very Christmas, Christmassy-like. Um, but there, his, his, his expression, obviously, you can see Judd here had the buck teeth, just like Mater. Cletus, his teeth are a little different. I'm not sure if that tooth is, a uh, inside the mouth or it's broken off but uh you can tell this tooth is out here see he's number six his grill is actually a little different than or no it's the same i don't know what i was uh thinking of but yeah the grill is the same you can see the bumper looks to be the exact same as well see where judd had the number five cleas has the number six got the red racing stripes that uh are definitely way more 
nicer than Judd's, that's for sure, but they go down the same way. And there's two of them. Uh, so he's got the number six, and it's in a circle, whereas Judd just had the number five there. But uh, yeah, that looks nice. The red circle, the number six. I uh, definitely looks pretty nice. Obviously, you've got the detail going down the side here. Very similar detail to Judd. Actually looks a little more pronounced. The uh, rusty or dirty wheels or whatever. Same rims as Judd's, I do believe. Uh, you can see the hood looks a little popped up on this side. Not sure if that was meant to be like meant to be a detail of like wreckage or that's just how he's made, but it's there. You can see the window net right there. Uh, some more detail on the back here. There's the dirty bumper. Detail on the back. Uh, the racing stripes go down to the trunk like Judd's. And there you have the window net on the back and then there on the side. And uh, you can see kind of it's almost like the back is squished in, especially on this side. Um, I'm not sure if they had the detail in the same place, but they probably would. They probably just use the same model. Um, let's see. There's a couple bumps right there. Yeah, a couple bumps right there. I would, I would assume, assume they have the detail in the same place. Yeah, the dents are in the same place, but the, the dirt detail itself is, I think, yeah, you can tell. The dirt detail is different, which at least that, that's nice that the dirt detail is different. Uh, Cletus looks to have some very pronounced dirt detail. Um, and uh, yeah, there's his eyes, his expression. If we can show you that before. Uh, also, let's take a look at the base on these cars. There's Judge. It's tan. Very clean base. I feel like that it's tan, though. Cletus has a green base. That's very nice. You don't see colored bases too often. I think, I think the storytellers had colored bases. Um, I think, like, the showstoppers, they have colored bases as well. I always like colored bases. I get away from the normal black bases or gray bases or whatever. But there is Cousin Cletus. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the last one, Cousin Beautiful, which like I said, I've had the longest, ironically. So we're going to take him out of the package last. Definitely, I, I do like the way they pack them. Uh, the, the book thing, I guess, uh, that was a nice idea. I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, it's not, I obviously, not the easiest thing in the world to store. But uh, it's, it's it's a nice display piece, that's for sure. Um, obviously, the same road again for Buford. I would assume all the, show star, all the storytellers came with a road like that. Now, uh, Buford here. Likely the most different. Uh, you can see here he has four racing stripes, so double that of what uh, Judd or Cletus have. And he doesn't have any buck teeth sticking out. You can see we went from a pro progression of two, two, two teeth sticking out, st two teeth sticking out, one tooth sticking out, and no teeth sticking out. In uh, fact, you can see there that he's actually missing one tooth right there. Uh, there's the hood. The blue and purple do look nice together. There he, his expression is his expression. I'm sleep very happy. I see detail. Uh, like the dents are in the same place as well. The detail, we'll compare that a little later to both of them. There's the grill. As we go to the side there, the number seven. The rusty wheels. Obviously the mud. Very pronounced on him as well here. All along the side, even up to the window right there with the window net i've seen number seven kind of drawn with a black uh outline and colored in purple see there you have the rusty wheels big splatter of mud right there on the back some more detail there's the bumper obviously the lines also come down to the uh, end of the trunk there but you see different narrow narrower lines and there's four of them and there is the uh, window net on the back there for a uh, buffer. Uh, I think the wheels are, are they different on this both sides? Um, <clears throat> I actually think the wheels are the same. Yeah, I think the wheels do, are the same on both sides. These two are different. Or are they? Actually, they may all be the same. Yeah, I think they're all the same actually. Kind of unfortunate, but at least the detail is different. 
on both sides like look there you have no detail there and you have a lot of detail there so at least the dirt's different on both sides and different on all the cars and we'll compare if the wheels are different on all the cars but there's cousin buford i'm not sure he or cletus are definitely my favorite buford is the most different in my opinion mainly because of his four uh four uh stripes but there he is on the turntable and uh let's bring up the other two, his cousin Judd and cousin Cletus. Here are all four of them. Um, so let's take a look at the tires. Yeah, see, his look different. Yeah, they're different tires for sure. They're, um, these look different as well. Quick, quick look at them. They all look to be different tires, at least. And uh, like I said, it does appear that they all have different detailing. If you look at them, you can like look right there in the back. They all have different uh, different detailing. So at least the mud, at least they do have some variety between them, even if the uh, dents are all in the same place. Also, there's Buffard's base, which is blue. Um, but yeah. There's all three of Mater's cousins. They they all look very nice together, that's for sure. They all look that's why I wanted to do a video on them all together at the same time. Why I waited so long to do a video on them because Yeah, they look very, very nice together. And uh yeah, let me know which one your favorite is in the comments below. I'm not sure. Honestly, I it's either Cletus or Buffer, that's for sure. I'm not sure which one's my favorite. Honestly, I, I can't pick. They're all so nice. And Judd, even though Judd's probably my least favorite, he's a still a very, very nice car, that's for sure. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.